Hi, I am Nikki Vershagen and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be heading over to NRF 2019 Retail's Big Show and there's actually a game show happening there between Derek Dykins, who is a business development manager for retail at Cisco, and Jessica Moak, who is a global marketing manager for retail at Cisco as well. And from what I hear, the game show involving the two of them is going to be discussing retail trends within IT teams and really what's being discussed at NRF this year amongst retailers. So let's see if I can get a front row seat and listen in. Yeah. Hello, we are live from NRF 2019 uh, in the beautiful city of New York. My name is Jessica Lowe from the Global Industries Marketing Team and I'm here with Derek Steichen. Derek and I are actually here to do some game trivia show. So we're taking the theme of the whole game uh, experience and we're doing a game trivia show for Retail 2019. And the game is pretty simple. The rules are I'll ask a question with some multiple choices. Once you've heard all of the options, you'll blur out the answer or what you think is the answer. And we'll see if Derek is right. But are you ready to play some Retail 2019? Let's go. All right. Well, here is the first question. What are the trends shaping the retail evolution? A, consumer expectations. B, new economy competition. C, security threats. Or D, all of the above. D, all of the above. <laughs> yes, you got that right. Um, it definitely is all of the above. Consumer expectations, new economy competition, security threats. All right, we're gonna ask the second question. How much more profitable are organizations that match <laughs> 18%, 17%, 26%? 26%. You are correct again. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Derek's our in-house retail expert, okay. All right, now we're going on to our third question. Which of these was indicated by 71% of shoppers to be very important to the in-store experience? A, incorporating their personal devices, B, knowledgeable store enthusiasts, C, mobile checkout. So close. That was very close, but 71% is actually A, incorporating the personal devices. That's actually interesting, Jessica, because right now we're hearing a lot about how we can leverage our associates in the store, right? They are your number one asset. Um, so I know that a lot of our customers today, even in the show, are trying to figure out, hey, how do we leverage those associates? Um, and our booth, we're actually coming both the mobile experiences that we're personalizing for our customers, as well as that role of the associate, getting them the right technology uh, in the store, whether that be applications, using the right devices that are purchasing Apple. Um, so yeah, thank you for educating me. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, right? If we're incorporating personal devices, you also want the associate to have these personal devices. Typically, it's more like selling and other I guess it makes sense. It kind of goes into All right. Well, that was a tricky one. Next one, question four. What about store associates and employees? What kind of sales growth percentages did retailers see when managers and employees are equipped with mobile devices? A. None. B. Two times. C. Five times. Five times. Yes. It is five times. Higher sales growth. That seems like. Am I getting a prize? Uh, is there a winner in this game? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll think about that after after the fact. Oh, yeah. um, but why do you think it's five times? That's a pretty significant growth. Yeah, I think there's so much that you can do with mobile, right? And a lot of our retailers are kind of going at it with one thing in mind, um, but there's a huge spectrum of things that you can do, capabilities, um, you know, alignment with your customer, personalizing the experiences, even when they come to do that whole client telling piece. So, yeah, I mean, it definitely makes sense. A lot of times when you're in the store, if you're able to talk to someone and they're able to talk to you where the product is located or that service, um, you're more likely to buy. So, I think five times makes sense. Yeah. All right, on to the next question. All right, last year, in 2018, retail IT budgets were spent on point of sales solutions. What is the anticipated hot topic for the year in 2019? A, point of sales again. E, e commerce or C, unified commerce? I think you gave it away with the way you said it. Uh, C, unified commerce. <laughs> yes, 
That is correct. It is unified commerce. <laughs> but that makes sense as well because uh, it's no longer about just the transaction, right? It's about all the different places that you can interact with that brand around what you might purchase. Um, yeah, so even here today, you know, and yesterday at the show, we saw a lot around unified commerce, even on the keynotes. So definitely a hot topic this year. Yeah. Do you think that also includes like last mile, inventory management, like focus trends, stuff like that? Yeah, it's definitely uh, for that entire shopping journey. I know here with, uh, with Cisco's booth, we are kind of showing that whole day in the life. So you start at home, you incorporate the pieces of your shopping journey at home, uh, on the go, even when you get like a weather alert. Um, all the different things that can really influence your shopping journey, still tying it back to that retailer. Um, and then when you get to the store, being able to have buy online, pick up in store, things pre-selected. We're even featuring something here this year around Optimize Me, where we can pre-sort your shopping list around things that are just a refill, where the associates can begin to pick those for you, versus a net new purchase where you still want to go to the shelf, browse, and interact with that product. Okay, all right. Well, then on to our next one. Um, this might also be tricky. So speaking specifically to the U.S. market, what does retail's year-over-year -year IT spend increase look like? Is it A, 2%, B, 5.2%, C, 14.8%, or D, 16.1%? Yep, somebody's choice. Yes. Uh, 14% for the Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Very good. I almost said 16 I, because <laughs> I just figured maybe. But. <laughs> I, I'm quite surprised. I thought I was going to trip you up with that one. Oh, but yes, okay. it is 14.3%. Okay. Year over year, I just want to increase the U.S. market in retail. Um, what do you think are the Do you have any expectations on the other pieces? Um, yeah, I mean, they're definitely, I would say, devices for the associate mobility in general. Um, and when you really deploy mobility in the right way, you can also benefit as well as the associate like, mobility. If you supply chain technology, we're seeing a lot of really interesting things here at the show. Um, so we would press around supply chain, especially with what Amazon is doing. So, uh, lots of good things happening, lots of good investments happening. Um, so what I'll do is ask Derek one sort of final question. Um, so we're here at NRF 2019, right? Um, and we have so many technology that we're presenting here at this show. So which of the ones is your favorite or which one are you really, really passionate about that you want to share with the audience? Yeah, I would say it's probably a combination of two technologies. Okay. Um, one of those would be around just overall like our analytics and then our scan and open delivery. So we partnered with Nishiko this year to so scan and go home store. You can actually pick up a product within our Stop Shop and Go Mobile app, scan that product, we'll check out. Um, through that partnership with both Nishipay and then Avery Dennison doing our RFID tech to also be able to tell when someone has us through the checkout line without a paid for product. So what we've done this year is actually been able to notify, hey, for example, this Thermacare uh, pack or this Benadryl pack has not been paid for. We present that on our system with digital signage and also tie that to to show the loss prevention aspect as well. So for me, um, we're brainstorming ideas, trying to pull together a lot of unnecessary technologies, both system and part of our own, um, pulling that together to tell one really seamless story at this point of checkout. To be a really exciting. I think our customers have been responding really positive. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, the analytics behind it, and we have this sort of initial control area, is it blows my mind. It's amazing. Um, and I love it. Um, but I guess that's a bit of a wrap for us today. Um, the game show. Thank you so much for participating. I'll follow up with you on my prize. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I hope you guys learned a bit about what's going on in the retail world and what's top of mind for retailers today. Um, so I guess yeah, uh, that's it for us. Thank you again and thank you for watching. Um, goodbye and until next time. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming with me to listen in on the retail game show happening at NRF this year. Uh, I hope you enjoyed listening in. I know I did. So, uh, again, it was a cool conversation talking about what's top of mind for retailers, IT teams, where they're putting their dollars, what the interesting trends are, and what they're really focused on within 2019. Uh, again, if you like this retail video, make sure that you stay tuned for when we release the next one. And until then, have a great one. Thank you.